Um, all right, so uh, welcome everyone to the this next session of uh, Lean Together. Uh, there, there are two kinds of users of Lean. There are those who want to prove theorems in Lean, and there are those who want to have proven theorems in Lean. And I guess the next talk will be threatening to the first half and very promising to the second half because we learn about large language models doing the job for us. So with that, I uh, welcome Caillou Young and uh, tell us all about it. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. And hi, everyone. I'm Kai Young, uh, and I'm postdoc at Caltech. I'm really excited to talk about our work on using machine learning and especially large language models as co-pilots that assist humans in theory improving. So let me start with a very quick demo of the Link Copilot tool we've recently, re uh, we we recently open sourced. So let me switch the screen uh, one sec. Uh, are you able to see my editor in VS Code? Yes. Cool. Um, so here you see we have two simple theorems um, and proofs. The first one says A plus B plus C equals to A plus C plus B. And the second one is basically the, um, it says the intersection between two sets is commutative. Um, so we're going to use Link Copilot, which is a link package that you can import, import Link Copilot here. And after importing Link Copilot, at, at any point in the proof, you can use language models to suggest the next steps by calling suggest tactics. Here you see the suggestions on the right, and you can click on any one of them to use it in the proof. And besides the next step, you can the model can also give you the complete proof. You just uh, type search proof, and then you can use the proof on the right. You know, searching for proofs is very challenging and not always successful. So if we try it on the second theorem, search proof, and we we can wait for some time, but it's it's not going to be successful. Um, however, even if our model cannot prove this theorem, it can still act as a co-pilot for humans. Uh, for example, if I enter the first tactic, and then the rest can be uh, proved by the model. Um, and finally, Link Copilot can help you select useful premises uh, from Maslib. So if I remove this part and then type select premises, The results are on the right. Here, actually, you see the uh, the first one here is just the premise we want here. Um, great. So let me try to go back to the slides. Uh, I, I see a question in the chat. What do the colors on the info view means? Um, green, blue, white. That, that's a good question. So let me and search tactics. Um, let's suggest tactics. Yeah, sorry. Okay, let me restart this file. So here, uh, after, so the model generates a oh, lot of- a ranking. Yeah. Um, blue means this tactic can, can be executed without error, but uh, the proof uh, is not complete after this tactic. And- oh, green, so the little party sign is it will close the goal in yeah, one- Yeah, green means it can close this proof. Nice. Mm, okay. Okay. I'm going back to the slides. Um, for, uh, so Link Copilot has been open sourced on GitHub at LinDojo Link Copilot, and it can run locally on your laptop, uh, even without GPUs. Uh, actually, I was running on my laptop in the demo. Um, I think you're sharing presenter mode. So we see. Uh, okay. Let uh, you see. Yeah. Mm. How about now? Is it the slides now? Yeah, yes. we should be out by Linda okay. Yeah, so the rest of this talk will answer two questions. So first, we want to uh, answer how to use Link Copilot in your Link, in your Link project. And second, we want to know what's under the hood of Link Copilot. 
So uh, let's start with the first question. Um, so let's see, let's go to link pilots GitHub repo. Uh, let me try to hide this, okay. Um, link pilot. So here is the GitHub repo for link pilot. Um, and say, if you want to use it in your own project, you should go to uh, the instructions here. Um, so here we have some requirements. You, you have to be on one of these systems. You have to use either Linux or Mac, it's fine. On Windows, we only support uh, WSL, but not the, 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 like the, tr the true Windows. Um, and also you need uh, Git LFS, which is very easy to install on most systems. Um, I mean, you can have a GPU. If you have a GPU, it, it will be faster. But uh, if you don't have a GPU, that's totally fine. Um, and the, the final requirement is for people who want to build Link Copilot itself. But if you're just going to use Link Copilot on your downstream package, you don't need this. Um, and then um, let's try to um, go through an example. For example, I'm, I'm going to use the mathematics in Lean uh, as an example. Here you see I have a local copy of mathematics in Lean. It's the original copy. Say I want to use Lean Copilot to, to this repo. Uh, I'm going to lake file dot Lean. Um, and then first I'm going to add Lean Copilot as a dependency to, to this repo. Um, so I'm going to copy this line and paste it here at a dependency. Um, and then we also have to add an additional um, flag here as a, uh, as a link option for this package. Um, so this is required because we, we are linking to some uh, foreign function in link copilot. And then after that, uh, since we have updated the dependency, we have to run the update in copilot. Okay, now it's updated. Then let's open any file in this repo. Uh, let's try, not, maybe try this file. And so this is a original file in mathematics in Lean. Then we can import in copilot. Uh, then of course we have to restart Lean. Maybe while it restarts, can you clarify that what we see, like, like the phantom uh, text, is, is provided by GitHub Copilot and not your thing or something like this? Uh, sorry, what was the question? When, when you start typing anything, we, we see suggestions that have presumably come from GitHub Copilot, not from. Oh, you mean from uh, maybe disabled GitHub Copilot? Yeah, that, that would probably be clearer. Uh, let's see. I guess there is a disabled completions. Okay, so now it's disabled. Um, then, um, so now after adding it as a dependency and importing it here, uh, you can use it uh, directly. For example, let's use it on this theorem, uh, suggest tactics. You see it here, or or maybe this theorem. Let's uh, um. Let's remove this proof. This is this theorem is basically a constant sequence converges to this constant. Uh, if you type search proof, it will find a proof here. Mm, okay, so that so it's basically very easy to use Link Copilot to uh, in your own project, and then uh, next we are going to. Um, talk about what's under the hood of Link Copilot. So you're able to see the screen, right, the slides. Um, so he, this is an example we have seen in the demo. Given the theorem, um, you call search proof, and then it generates a proof consisting of two steps. But, but how? Um, a natural idea is we can use machine learning. Uh, so if, it, if the input to the machine learning model is the theorem and the output is the proof, and if we have enough data, say data from MathLib, and then we can train a machine learning or, or model or specifically a language model 
to map the theorem to the proof directly. Um, and th this this may actually work, but uh, you know, proof consists of individual steps or tactics in this case. And when humans prove a theorem, they don't usually write down the entire proof in one shot. So instead of generating the entire proof, it may be more efficient to generate individual tactics. And starting from the theorem as the initial state, here we have two tactics. And this is the first tactics, and this is the second tactic, and then the theorem is proved. So to apply machine learning to generate tactics, we only need to train the model um, taking the proof step as taking the proof state as input and output a tactic. Here say this tactics is intro ABC. And of course this model is going to be trained on MathLib, but it's not, not going to be 100% accurate. So in practice, instead of generating only one tactic, we generate multiple tactics for each state. And then we can do this for any proof state. Here we have a lot of paths, and among them we want to search for a path from the initial state to a soft state. And this result is a proof. So this, this procedure is called proof search, uh, and we can use any search algorithm here, including classical algorithms such as depth first search and breadth first search. And our next demo will be um, like we will be implementing this idea in in a like a simplified version of language models for theorem proving in a, a Jupyter notebook. So people are able to see my Jupyter notebook, right? Um, yeah. Okay. So um, let me see. So here we are going to, uh, so first let's go through a roadmap. Um, so, it's, so first we are going to train a tactic generator and to train the model, we need data sets. Um, and we are going to use our recent work Lindojo to extract data sets from MathLib. It, specifically, it will take MathLib as input and output um, a lot of state tactic pairs. Is Lean Dojo a sort of a successor to a Lean Gem? Um, like an environment for it, or is uh, it Lean more? Gym doesn't Lean Gem doesn't uh, doesn't extract data. Lean Gem is for interacting with Lean. Um, okay, using... so this is purely for extraction. Okay, uh, we can do both. We can both do extract okay. and do interaction. Yeah, and Lean Gem is for Lean three. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Um, and once we have this tactic generator, uh, we are going to use it to interact with link and search for proofs. Um, great, let's start with data extraction. And Lindojo is a Python library, so you have to first import it. Uh, let's import Lindojo. And then to extract data sets, we specify which GitHub repo to use. Here, we are going to use this specific version of MathLib. And then we pass this repo to a trace function. Uh, so this is going to take some time. So I'm, I have run it beforehand. And the result is traced repo. Um, here, traced repo is a data structure containing all the data we have extracted from MathLib. And then we post-process the trace repo to get state tactic pairs. First, we call uh, get traced theorems to get a list of theorems from this repo. So it's extracting all theorems from MathLib. Now we see there are about 100,000 theorems from MathLib. And then remember, uh, Proof is a list of tactics. So here we want to collect all the state tactic pairs from this theorem. So we have a for loop going through all the theorems and for each theorem, we have a for loop going through all the tactics. So 
So now we have extracted about 245,000 state active pairs. And let's just look at any one of them. Let's look at the first one. And this is the state in the first one, something about array. And this is the tactic, just a simple tactic. And now uh, we have a decent amount of data for fine tuning our model. And there are many open source libraries you can use for fine tuning. Um, and here the code is just for illustration. So here we take a pre-trained model from Hugging Face. We're, we're going to use Google's by T5 model. And by T5 is a variant of T5 and it is an encoder decoder transformer. So we are downloading the model and load the model. And then let's prepare the data set. So uh, we were going to pick a subset of the, this data set and we're going to tokenize it. That is we convert the, uh, the text to, uh, to a sequence of integers. And finally, we are ready to train the model. Uh, here is uh, a, like, a, we, we give it some, hyper, some parameters like uh, for training. And then we can use the sequence to sequence trainer in hugging phase to actually train the model. But we're we're not going to use we're not going to run this block because it's uh, just an illustration, and it, it will take very long. So the training can take five days on a GPU. And then uh, assume we we have already trained the model. Let's inspect the model and uh, see see its behavior. And so uh, since I'm not going to run the training, I'm going to download our pre-trained model from Hugging Face. So this model is already trained on uh, state tactic pairs. And then let's run this model on some input examples. Here we have a function. Uh, it takes the state as input um, and it runs the model to generate one tactic. So let's, uh, I'm going to give it this state, this very simple state from the ABC theorem, A plus B plus C. And we run the function, it generates a tactic, intro ABC, which is reasonable. And then this function is very similar to the previous one. It takes a state as input, but it also takes a K and it generates not one tactic, but K tactics. So let's still use the same state as input. Here we have generates 16 tactics. So they are, uh, they are like candidates we can search. Now we have a tactic generator, but how can we use it to prove theorems? In the, in the demo we have seen, we can prove theorems in Link, but here we want to use it in programmatically in Python. And this is also supported by Lindojo, uh, and and also this part is also provided by Lindjin, so, but Lindojo supports Link4. Um, so let's still use this as an example, this add ABC theorem. Um, and to interact with using Lindojo, we provide the, the theorem name, add ABC, uh, and the file name, and also which repo to find the theorem. And Lindojo will take a few seconds to initialize this interaction and it will return uh, the initial state, which is S0 here. So the initialization can take some time. Okay, now it's initialized. And let's take a look at S0. Let's print it. So this is the initial state. And then we can run some tactics using the run tag function in Lindojo. So first run tactic intro ABC, and then we it will give us another state called S1. And this is S1. It's a result from uh, intro ABC. And then we run the second tactic. 
you see proof finished here, which means the theorem has been proved. And we can also mess around with some random tactics. Say you can run this cases n. Uh, you get an error here because uh, cases n is not really applicable here. And you can even run like a uh, hello world. You, you also get an error. It, it says um, unknown tactic. And now we have, we can interact with link programmatically in Python. So we can plug in the tactic generator into a search algorithm to search for proofs. And for illustration, we are going to use steps first search. And let's go through the implementation. And so first we define the tactic as a string in Python and a proof is just a list of tactics. And um, so here we have some hyperparameters for the search algorithm. 16 uh, is the number of tactic candidates at each step. And we have a depth limit of three. Here, the search function, uh, it takes a state as input um, and also the depth limit. And it returns a proof if, if it can find a proof. So first we check the depth limit and then we use the model to generate some tactic candidates. And finally, we have a for loop going through all the tactic candidates. For each candidate, we run it and we see if the proof is finished. If finished, we would re return the tactic. And if not, we call the search function recursively. So this is just a very classical implementation of depth first search. So let's run this block. And then let's try it on state zero. We were going to call search state zero. Now it's running proof search. It's going to take some time. Okay, it says find a proof. And this is the proof uh, discovered by the machine learning model. And any question for this uh, demo and how to build a very simple theorem prover in Python? Okay, if not, let's uh, go back to the slides. Um, and to recap, we've built a very simple theorem prover using language models. It has two parts, a tactic generator that takes a proof state to generate tactics, uh, and a proof search algorithm that combines the tactic into a proof. Um, and we have used these open source tools uh, in the demo. Lindojo can extract training data from any public repo, uh, public link repo on GitHub, including Maslib. And it can also interact with link from Python. Reprover can help you train and evaluate language models for theorem proving. It is like a fancier version of the Jupyter Notebook demo. And finally, the Link Copilot can deploy the model directly in Link to help you prove theorems directly. And you're welcome to check them out on GitHub. And finally, our work is a result of a collaboration between team members. And thank you all for coming to this talk. And, and I'm happy to take questions. Thank you. That was a very nice talk. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I already see the first raise hand. So um, Adam, go ahead. Hi, yeah, great talk. Um, I mean, I have a few questions. I guess my the main one I wanted to ask is whether the the model you used in that uh, simplified demo is the actual model used by uh, Lean Copilot. Uh, let me try the, the one you got from Hugging Face. Um. Yes, the one I'm downloading from Hugging Face is the same model uh, as the uh, as the model in Copilot. So this model. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. And the other question I had was more about Lean Dojo. Um. Does it do anything special for uh situations where you, in the middle of a proof, you introduce a, you know, a, a have blah 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 colon equal blah blah blah. Because uh, if I if I understand correctly, um, at least when I've experimented with such things, that whole have block with together with the proof ends up being a single tactic step. 
Uh, do you yeah. do anything special in that case? That, that's or a good you just question. Take it as... yeah. we, we, we recently also find that this entire have block, including the proof of this have, this, this very big block is one tactic. So we, we didn't do anything. Right. In the current version, we didn't do anything special, so it's really like a one big, very big block, and you you can imagine the model, maybe it cannot learn this tactic because it's too long, uh. But in the future, it could help if you can break this big tactic into the individual tactics. Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, next up would be Paul Olivier. Hi, um. I was wondering if you could comment on your choice of uh, of Bit5 as a model, and also if you could uh, maybe I have a sketch of an idea that you should be able to specify a proof by saying at some point I think this tactic would be important, but you don't exactly know where. So is there a way to to generate proofs from that that idea? Uh. I didn't hear, hear, hear this, I didn't hear the second question, but let me first answer the first question. Uh, so the first question is why do we choose by T five here? Is, is that correct? Correct. But yeah. Um. That, that's a good question. So uh. So first, by T five is not very not that big. It it's like uh three hundred million parameters, which is fairly small um to today's standards, uh, which makes it cheaper to train and to run. So if you if we are using like today's larger model of billions parameters, it would be very difficult to run uh, on your laptop, which means the end users cannot use it very easily. And so that's one reason. The second reason is, um, so by T5 is, uh, it's a tokenizer free model, which means it operates directly on, on a sequence of bytes. So it does not need tokenization. Um, and we find tokenization is a little bit tricky for Lin because um, unlike mainstream programming languages like Python, in Lin you have a lot of Unicodes that, um, that are a little bit difficult to tokenize for uh, off-the-shelf tokenized. And um, what, can you repeat the second question? Yes, so when you try to generate a proof, um, would there be a way to specify that you, that the human thinks that at some point one tactic might be important, but it's not really the next one per se? So can human provide a, like an important tactic to guide the process? Is that a... a hint, yes, a hint. A hint. Um, currently, we don't see a very like systematic way to incorporate that. You can imagine, because at each step, our model generates some candidates. I mean, you, you can say, oh, I, I always want, I have this important tactic. I want to add it to the candidates every time. So please try it every time. You, you can do that, um, but we don't have any uh, evaluation on how this actually works. Thank you. Okay, one last quick question from Joe. Sure, I was, I was curious, um, um, do you have, um, so within tactics, there's a, there's search running as well, particularly like well many tactics like ASOP, um, and I think um, there sometimes it's useful to know like am I getting closer to solving the goal like as, through search uh, and like the search strategies like alpha beta that make estimates. I was wondering if you had looked into that, and if you if like extracting like how close am I was a heuristic that uh, was relevant to Lean Dojo. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. So we, we haven't done uh, work in this direction, uh, but I, I know like um, other people who want to explore reinforcement learning on this task, um, usually they will train another neural network whose job is to evaluate how close uh, are we from so solving this state. And then, um, so they have two networks, this, this network for evaluation and the other network for actually generating the tactic and they try to improve each other. Um, and um, so this, um, uh, but this, this is in general also very difficult since um, it's quite difficult to tell from the state how, how close are we from solving it. So we don't really, we haven't really seen like um, overwhelming success from this line of work, but other people are trying it. Okay, thank you. Oh, 
Um, thanks a lot for the presentation, and let's uh, virtually clap our hands once more, I guess.